At least six Palestinians were killed and close to two dozen others were wounded when Israeli occupation forces opened fire at different places in the occupied West Bank. According to several eyewitnesses, Israeli forces stormed the old city of Nablus in the northern occupied West Bank at around 1 a.m. Snipers from the force occupied the rooftops of buildings surrounding the Nablu city centre and fired at people. They used drones and shoulder-held missile launchers to target Palestinians. The five Palestinians killed in Nablus were identified as Hamdi Mohammed Sharaf, Hamdi Sobeh Ramzi, Bade Sobeh, Ali Khaled Antar, and Mishal Baghdadi. Kusay Al Tamimi, another Palestinian youth, was killed near Ramallah in a similar military operation. According to reports, at least 22 Palestinians were injured in these operations. Various protest demonstrations were organized throughout the occupied territories against the attack and the killing of Palestinians in Nablus once the news broke out. Palestinians observed a general strike all across the West Bank. Thousands of people participated in the funeral procession which was organized later in the day. Israeli security forces claimed that a joint force was raiding a hideaway in Nablus Old City that was being used as a bomb workshop by central members of the Lion's Den. Israel has cordoned off the city premises for a week now, claiming to be searching for members of the so-called Lion's Den, which it holds responsible for the recent attacks against Israeli security forces. A similar blockade was imposed on the Shuafat refugee camp earlier this month. Over 100,000 Palestinians were caged inside for days as Israeli search operations continued. They were denied even basic services like access to medical facilities outside. Israel has been carrying out raids throughout the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem since the beginning of the year, citing a rise in Palestinian armed resistance. Israeli forces have often opened fire at Palestinians protesting these raids. The UN has described 2022 as the deadliest year for Palestinians since 2006. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, Israeli forces have killed 184 Palestinians since the start of the year, including 132 people in the occupied East Jerusalem and West Bank and 51 in the besieged Gaza Strip. More than 2,000 Palestinians have been arrested in Israeli raids so far. The Palestinian Ministry of Foreign Affairs strongly denounced the Israeli aggression in Nablus on Tuesday and asked for an immediate end to the Israeli attacks. It also called on the International Criminal Court to start an investigation into the matter. Nabil Abu Radhana, spokesperson of the Palestinian Authority's president, called the attack in Nablus a war crime and stated that the international community, mainly the US, should stop the double standard approach when it comes to dealing with Israel.